potatoes. Who doesn't love potatoes? But we gonna substitute the potatoes. We cauliflower today. We're gonna do a cauliflower mash. So the first thing that you're gonna do is chop the cauliflower up to beautiful florets. I've got about half of the cauliflower here, a little bit more, probably enough for three people. And boiling water. And just add the cauliflowers. They don't take long, it'll take about five minutes. And it's been steaming away for about five minutes until it's soft. You can just poke a knife in there um, to see if it's soft. I've got one of these beautiful mixers. Boom! So that's what we're using to make this cauliflower mash. I'm always starting to mash it a little bit first because otherwise you're just going to get cauliflower all over your kitchen and we don't want that. Just the little ones first. Alright, so I'm just going to put on a little bit of, in a little bit of oil, oil just to make it a little bit smooth. Uh, that was just a little bit because it's pretty watery already. Just a little bit of milk to make it a little bit more like a mashed potato. Then you can actually put in any spice that you would like. You can keep it plain with just salt and pepper. You could put it in garlic um, if you want. We're not doing that today, but you can put that in raw or you can roast it first to get more of a smoky flavour. You can put in chili if you like spicy food, if you like paprika, some paprika powder, um, just to spice it up. Alright, this um, cauliflower mash done, you see it looks exactly like mashed potatoes. I'm just pouring it in here. It's a little bit lumpy. If you don't want any lumps in there, just mix it a little bit longer. 